morning, class. On the run. Welcome to Bible Baptist Church. Oh. It's sure a nice, sunny, hot day out there. Oh, really? Uh, I'm glad I'm inside. Have a joke. Yeah. Ooh, I heard, I heard something about Willie wanting to run away. What? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's way too hot for that. Oh, maybe, maybe we need to tell him a good Bible verse to help him out. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, you can come read the verse for us. Yes, we need some words of wisdom. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God hath given thee. Exodus twenty twelve. Oh, yeah, honor thy mom and dad. Yeah, that's a good one. Yep. Let's go see him while he's ready. Yep. All right. Man, it sure is getting dark out here. It's kind of scary. Well, I figured this is as good a place as any to spend the night. Hi, Willie. Ah! Oh, oh, ugh. Oh, with you, I didn't know you were here. Sorry, Willie. I was being a little silly. I didn't mean to scare you. Who, me? Nah, you didn't scare me. Yes, I did. You almost jumped out of your skin. I scared you. I scared you. Puppets don't have skin, and you did scare me. <sighs> did too. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. <clears throat> hey. You're out here at so late at night all by yourself. I'm running away. Running away? Hmm. I guess we're probably overdue for a run runaway skit. So tell me what you got in your bag. This is my runaway survival kit. Ooh. Hmm. Well, what you got in it? Let's have a look. I've got some uh, baseball cards, some rope, in case I need to tie up some bad guys or something, and uh, my shiny smooth stone. A shiny smooth stone? How is that survival stuff? Didn't you ever read about David and Goliath? One little stone was all David needed to zap that old giant in the head. Yeah, I guess. You never know when you might happen upon a giant in need of a good zapping. Yeah. What else you got in there? Well, there's my uh, rubber ducky. And, uh, oh yeah, I've got this really cool petrified frog. You want to see it? Ah, no, no way. Just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha, I scared you. I oh, scared you. Oh, you, you. Ugh. That's not much of a survival kit. Huh? What do you mean? No compass? Well, no. Or how about a map? Well, uh, no. And what about food? Did you at least remember to pack yourself something to eat? Oh man, I knew I would forget something. I forgot food, and now because of talking about it, I'm starting to get hungry. Uh, and mom and dad are probably just getting ready to sit down for supper. And there will be mashed potatoes, corn on the cob, apple pie, and no meat. Well, well, well. You have only yourself to blame. It wouldn't happen if you had decided to run away. Hey, how come you did run away? Well, eh, it's my mom. She's always telling me to do stuff. Clean my room, pick up my toys, feed Ralphie. All the time. Do this, do that. So I just decided to run away. That was silly. Willie, you should be ashamed of yourself. Huh? That's right. You should be ashamed of yourself. Your mom was only doing what moms are supposed to do. She was teaching you to be responsible, to take care of your things and take care of yourself, so you'll be able to do that when you get older. You think so? I think so. I know so. That's what mom and dad do. And besides, the real problem isn't with your mom or your dad. It isn't? No, it's with you. Me? Sure. 
Just who is it that messes up your room in the first place? Uh, me? Mm-hmm, yes, Sarita, that's you. And just who is it that throws your toys all over the place? Okay, okay, me again, right? Correct, Mundo. And tell me, just what do you think would happen to poor old Ralph if he didn't get food? Uh, croak? Yep, just like your petrified frog. I think you're beginning to get the picture. Yeah, it seems like I'm having a problem here, huh? Mm-hmm. Kinda. Say, do you remember our Sunday school lesson from a couple of weeks ago on the Ten Commandments? Yeah, some of it. Well, one of the commandments tells us to honor our moms and dads. It, it, it was Exodus 20, 12, and it says to honor your, honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land. And that the Lord your that the Lord your God is giving you. Well, one way to honor your parents is by being obedient, doing those things they ask you to do. Mm. God wants us to obey our parents, so he, he well because he knows that they love us and only what's only want what's best for us. Mm, I never thought about it like that before. That's right. And you want to know something else? What? Even our parents have to be obedient sometimes. Really? Mm-hmm. Sure. They have to obey God, too. And their mom and dad. Even their bosses at work. Man, it sure is a cruel world out there, isn't it? I'll say it is. Sometimes I'm surprised that our parents don't run away themselves. Especially ours. Yeah, I guess you're right, I think. And I probably haven't been very fair. If mom always has to pick up after me, she'll never have time to do the things she really likes to do. Like the laundry, or the dishes, or scratch my back and stuff like that. Well, I don't know about all that, but that's right, I guess. Man, I'm going to start obeying my mom again, right now. Good for you, Willie. I'm proud of you. So, are you getting hungry yet? I'll say I am. I hope they haven't started eating without me. Oh, I'm sure they would have called for you if supper was ready. At least you didn't have, you won't have far to go. Every time you run away, you never get any further than your own backyard. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll be going. I'm getting hungry too. Bessie, thanks for teaching me a valuable lesson. You mean about honoring your moms and dads? Yeah, that too. Well, what do you mean? Uh, about how we should listen to God and obey his commandments? Well, yeah, that one too. Hmm, I'm confused. Um, uh, well, what, just what valuable lesson are you talking about? Uh, oh, I learned that you should never run away on an empty stomach. Oh, brother. I'm out of here. Sorry I scared you earlier. You didn't scare me. Yes, I did. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Did not. Nothing did so. Did not. Ah, I'm coming, Mom. <laughs>